James chapter 4, verse 8. Draw nigh unto Yahweh Bashimel Shai, and he will draw nigh unto you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double minded. I want to give our praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim, or Kai Kodash, if you give me the spirit to do this lesson. This lesson is going into immortality, man. The mind state of immortality. Okay. We start acting more immortal than we will be immortal. Okay, Yahabashim Al Shah will bring it to pass. But day in and day out, you have to have that mind state on what that really means, man. Even though you're in this horrible flesh, okay, we know that we're not going to be changed, okay, to fully immortal, all right, until Yahweh Shah comes, right, and we're changed in the twinkling of an eye. But to grab the understanding of being in this flesh, this horrible flesh, and making our mistakes that we make, but at the same time, having that mind state of immortality, okay? We have to understand that more and what that means for us day in and day out, man. Okay, we know Yahweh Shai came down here and uh, was a sacrifice for Israel, man, for the nation of Israel, for the elect, okay? So we can't harp on our mistakes, but you need to harp on your mind state of immortality day in and day out. So let's read this again, James 4, verse 8. Draw nine to your how about you, shy, and he will draw nine to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners. Okay. And the only way he cleans your hands, you sinners, is what? By the blood of your how shy. Okay, like I just spoke about. And purify your hearts, your minds, you double minded. Now, how do you purify your minds? For one, you got to make your mind up. You can't be like a seesaw back and forth. Okay. Either you fear your how about you, shy, or you fear the world. Which one is it? You either fear Yahweh Shai or you fear the world. Because in Romans 8, it talks about if Yahweh Shai be for you, then who can be against you? See, holding that dearly to your mind, to your spirit, makes you draw nigh unto Yahweh Shai. Because you understand the will. You understand where you're at. Okay? So think about it this way. Okay? Sit down and really think. Where are you? You are on a planet that was created. Okay, and you were created and put here to do what? To do your own will or to do the Father's will? But you got to know what the Father's will is, man. And it's not for you to walk around doubtful with unbelief, okay? If you're that chosen, if you are uh, of one of the hopeful elect, it's not for you to walk around double-minded. Do you trust in him? One minute you do, and the next minute you don't. No, man, we got to have that full trust. And that full belief in our hearts and our minds, that's purifying our minds, okay? So we can be full of that light because that's that relationship. That's what makes us get near to Yahweh Shema Washai and the Yahweh Shema Washai get near to us. So we receive more of the Holy Spirit. We receive, we receive more of the insight, man, okay? Just want to put a few words on that. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 4, start at verse 22. It says that you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, right? The old actions, the old way of thinking. Okay. That old way, man, the old way was death, is death. Okay. But you got to put it to death with the new way of thinking. Okay. It says, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Be renewed. The only way to be renewed is to receive the light, to be able to see. Okay, that light renews you. Okay, that light is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, man. Which lighted light the world. Okay, now you got to be that light, man. Through his spirit in you. But how you going to maintain that spirit in you if you're fearful, man? Okay, because that spirit is not fearful. That's an immortal spirit. You see? Now you see what I'm getting into about you in this flesh, but... You have that immortal mind state even before you're changed to immortal. Okay? When we're changing into another eye. But before that, how do you walk immortal? There's a way to walk immortal. And that way is drawing close to your how about you, shy, and they draw close to you. But you got to know what that means. Okay? How do you do that, man? And that's what we're getting into, man. Okay? Your flesh can't do it. Okay? This flesh is horrible. We make a lot of mistakes. And, and dumb uh, bonehead decisions in his flesh. But your mind, the renewing of your mind, 
Okay, understanding what this is, man. Understanding, man. He controls everything. So as long as you just believe on your how about Shema was shy, do his will, okay, and don't worry about all the other things that's going on, man, that Satan tried to put in your path to suck you in. You don't have to be overcome by that, man. Yeah, righteous man falls seven times to get back up, but I'm talking about to the point where you just like drowning in it, man. No, man. Don't drown in your mistakes. You make your mistakes and you move on with the swiftness. You move on, you confess your faults, and you move on with the swiftness. And you keep that immortality in your brain, in your mind, in your spirit. Because you understand this flesh can't get you there. This flesh can't get us in the chariot, man. It's our mind. And we got to be strong in our mind no matter what happens in our flesh. Okay? Got to say that because Satan's going, you know, that's his goal to try to wear you out to get you off of that immortality mind state because of shit you have done okay remember this is a spiritual warfare man that's why it says and be renewed in your mind in the spirit of your mind right so you can fight verse 24 and that you put on the new man which after Yahweh about you was shy is created in righteousness and true holiness right put on a new man okay and ain't talking about your new body yet it's talking about that new spirit okay that's supposed to dwell within you. Yahweh and through the Holy Spirit dwelling within you. Because you trust. Because you're not back and forth. You're not wavering, man. Okay? You're fighting a good fight of faith. You trust in Yahweh and Shai. You moving with that immortality spirit. Even though you're not immortal yet. That's that confidence. That's that boldness in Yahweh and Shai. That's the same boldness that King David had, man. When you read about it. King David made horrible mistakes when you read, but he had that immortal mentality. That's why he was doing the things he was doing, man. And not just him, other prophets and other Israelites and Jake throughout the generations when you read, man. Okay, just read and you'll read into it. You know, that's why it says, bless he that readeth. Because when you read these stories again, then you start to get built up like, oh, man, okay. You know, that was like me. They had problems in the flesh. But look how they walked. Right, because they had that in their mind. They had their mind made up. They wasn't seesawing. They didn't let Satan make them seesaw. If they made a mistake, they acknowledged their mistake. Okay, maybe they were sad for a little bit, but at the end of the day, they moved forward in what? In believing in your how about shy with all their heart. Period. Okay? Not fearing anything what man can do, but only fearing what your how about shy can do to you. Okay, that's what you got to be in your mind state. That's what you got to, that's that's how you got to think, you know. Let's go to 2 Timothy chapter 1, starting verse 7. For Yahweh have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power. And that's that power. Okay, that we fear only him. We fear only Yahweh Shema Bashai. That's where your power's at. Anything outside of that weakens you. Okay, to give everything else, your attention and spirit and your vibration that has nothing to do with your salvation, okay, that's giving you a doubtful, weak spirit, that weakens you. But your power is having that fear in your how about you shy and saying, hey, he's with me. Can't none of y'all do shit. Okay? It says, in love and a sound mind. Right, in a sound mind. Okay? You're focused. You're not shaken by things. Why? Because your trust makes you sound. See, your trust in your Habashim Yahushai, the immortal mind state, makes you sound. You act immortal, you will be immortal. Okay? Because, think about it. When you act immortal, okay, and that fear, only in your Habashim Yahushai, not the world, the angels encamped around him, that fear. Okay? That fear, your Habashim Yahushai. Psalms 34, verse 7. Okay? That protection is immortality by itself, even though you're physically not immortal yet. But Yahabash Mavashai would bring it to pass if you have the immortal mind state. And that's the point. Okay, so it says, end of a sound mind. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of Yahweh who have saved us and caught us with the holy calling, not according to our works, 
but according to his own purpose and grace, right, his own will, which was given us in Yahweh Shai before the world began. Now that's heavy. Which was given us in Yahweh Shai before the world began. That's powerful right there, man. Okay, so if you believe that, what the hell do you got to be afraid of, man? If it was given to you before the world began, then like I said earlier, man, the world was created, you were created, and you were put here. Okay, and the whole time, Yahweh Shema was shy, is watching over you, man. Okay, don't you want to be a part of that power? Forget what everybody else is doing. He created them too. He created the scoffers. He created the devil. He created these demons. So with him, you can't lose. Carry that mind of immortality. That's what these demons are scared of. Okay? They know that the immortality mind state has power over them. Through the name and the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Bashem Rakah Kodash, man. Okay? Through the Holy Spirit. That's where your power is at. That's where your power is at. But to draw nigh to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and receive more of that Holy Spirit, you got to make your mind up. Do you believe in this truth or not? Do you believe that they for you or not? Do you believe that you are a son of the power or not? Stop being wavery and letting Satan put those seeds, those demonic seeds in your mind, man. Your Habashim Shah sees all that. They sees all that, man. You can't hide from those thoughts. Now, you can have thoughts and not eat them, okay? So you got to be in a mind state no matter what thoughts Satan put in my head, Okay? If it's a left-hand side thought, I'm not eating it, man, period. Verse 10. But is now made manifest by the appearing of our Lord Yahweh Shai, who have abolished death and have brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. Right, man. So we feel the immortality through the gospel that we are teaching. That's spread through the whole world, man, that we watch bloom, man, like fire, man, like a wildfire across the globe. We know we're at the end. Because it's spreading like a wildfire, man. Okay? So that immortality to light through the gospel, man. You got to feel that, man. You got to know what that means. That's his lesson going into. You got to understand what that truly means, man. We're going to end it on this. Romans chapter 2, verse 7. To them who by patient continuance and well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, eternal life. So we seek for that, man. But you got to seek for that the right way. Okay? The best way to seek for that is no fear whatsoever in everything else, but only your fear towards your how about your mouth shot, your power, your God. Okay? Don't be seesawing in this thought process, man. You have no reason. Okay? We have zero reason, and I mean zero reason to fear anything else. If we fear your how about your shot, keep that in your mind state. That is immortality. That is life eternal. Okay. With that, I hope you are edified in this quick exhortation. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Makakudash, for giving the spirit to do this lesson. Double my honor to the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to your Akamath that is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.